To use the Simple Transfer app, you must first find and open it on your iPad. You can either do that by swiping through the screens and searching for the icon or drag down at the top of the screen with one finger and type in transfer to quickly find the icon that looks like simple transfer and tap on it to open it. Once the app is open, you should be prompted to allow any kind of settings and see what's new. Transfer is going to ask if you would like to access your photos and other security questions. These are all necessary to be agreeable to so that it can get to your, ac your photos and access them appropriately. So go ahead and say allow access to all photos. Once you have set the permissions, you won't have to do that step again. That's just the first launch. So when you're at this screen, you're going to choose the button that says use web browser. Because we don't have the, the ability to add programs easily to our laptops, this is the best and quickest way to get photos from your iPad to your computer. So tap use web browser, infomercial. Just go ahead and close that screen if that happens. That's how they can keep these apps free. So you will notice the first thing that you see is transfer between computer and device. If you look across the bottom, you have four options down there to choose from. We are transferring between the iPad and your teacher laptop so that you can quickly remove pictures, videos from your iPad devices to your teacher laptop should you need to print them or send them another way, get them to your Google Drive, any of those items that are difficult usually with iPads. When you're on this screen, you can click the question mark if you'd like to learn more information about that item that you're on. It's telling me to select computer tab to transfer photos, videos between my iOS device, my iPad, and my teacher laptop. And you will notice in this box you get a web address, the HTTP simple transfer dot app slash connect or HTTP and the IP address. I prefer to use the HTTP and IP address because it's easier to type numbers. You do not need to install any special software on your computer to use this. You can also transfer photos or videos between two iOS devices. So if you have two student iPads and you need to transfer videos in between both of them or pictures in between them, you're allowed to do so by touching the devices tab. But today we're going to focus on just computer. Should you need further instructions, you can tap on the settings button at the bottom, which will open up a help window you can see what's new, how to use the web browser, and find help. So I'm going to say I need help. I'm going to click the first one that says help. There I can look at FAQs, Wi-Fi transfer issues, or I can get written instructions on how to transfer from the computer or to the computer. So I'm going to tap on that, and you'll notice you can see full instructions here on what to do to get simple transfer if you're not watching this video. Once you have the transfer app opened on your iPad, you're going to leave it open on that iPad and come over to your laptop and open up a new tab. You're going to type in the address of your choice from the iPad either the simple transfer dot app slash connect or the IP address that's the number. Like I said before, I prefer to use the number because numbers are easier to type. So I'm just going to take the number that is showing on the iPad app. It is 10.10.216.81 colon and I'm going to hit enter. When I do that, it's going to pull that iPad 
up on my laptop just like you would use AirDrop. So basically this app is taking the iPad, making it AirDroppable with your laptop. It is pretty amazing. Don't fret about this word here that says it's not secure. That just is telling you that it is um, taking the device Bluetooth capability. This is completely uh, safe for you to use. So don't be upset by that not secure um, warning up there. So now that both things are open, you get to see everything that lives on this iPad in the Photos um, app. It's going to sort it by the albums, and then there's other albums down here. One thing to note is that Live Photos does not work on our free version. So if you're using the free version, you would have to get Live Photos another way. But for our purposes of pulling over videos or photos, this works perfectly. So I'd like to get some videos off of this. I'm going to go ahead and come down to my videos folder. You can use the recents or whatever other folders that you may have. And also it's important to note that the free version of Simple Transfer only allows you the first 50, 50 videos or pictures from a album. So um, just keep that in mind and maybe make a second album if you have something else that you need to do 50 photos on or I'll show you how you can use the delete feature once you've downloaded these photos and videos um, so that you can get back some more space. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the videos album to open up my videos. It's going to take it a moment to load everything that's in that folder. And since it's videos, sometimes it does take a little while to populate. It's really great about giving you instructions up here on what to do to select items. I'm gonna click on those thumbnails. If I want that video and I click it, you'll notice a little check mark appears. If I don't want it anymore, I can click it again. I can select everything on this page by choosing select all, and then it would select all of them. Or I can close that out and select nothing. I can hold down shift to select multiple items in between. If I want the first one, I'm gonna hold down shift and I wanna stop here at the fourth one, but I want everything in between it, I can just click that last one and it will select all four as long as I'm holding down the shift button. Another option for you is to use the control button. If you don't want these two here in the middle, but you want the first one and the fourth one, you would hold down the control button, click the first one, keep holding the control button, and click the fourth one, and you did not select the two in the middle. So you can either use shift to select everything from front to back, or use control to be able to skip in between some of those. I need these three videos here, so I'm going to choose them. Now you'll notice over here these things just lit up with green or red. I can download these three items, I can delete these three items, or I can upload, which means nothing's going to happen to those three items I selected, but I could take photos from my computer and send them to this device, just like I'm sending from the device to my computer, so the reverse. I want to download these to my computer because I need them off of this iPad quickly, so I'm going to choose download three items. It's going to ask you what format you need these in. I always leave this at original, but if there are some um, HEIC, which is that new iPad photo option, you're going to want to select JPEG instead because our laptops do not support the HEIC very well and some of our photo editing apps like your yearbooks don't also. So if you need to select JPEG, if you need to convert. So this is also working as a converter for you, which is another nice feature. I can also choose to delete these after I download them, which I like to do. If I'm gonna download them to my computer, I've already got a copy of them. I no longer need to take up that space on the iPad. So I always choose delete after download. And just a nice thing to note there is if you delete them, 
you still have that 30-day window where they live in your deleted items before they get erased completely. So even when you choose delete, you have some time if you need to get them back. Talk to your DLC if you need to know how to do that. Once I have everything selected the way I want it, I'm going to choose download. And this can take some time as well, as you'll notice that it's starting a download in a zip file at the bottom of my screen. So I'm going to wait for that to finish. Do not close Simple Transfer while this is happening on the iPad or your computer, or you'll have to start this whole process over. You have to keep your iPad app open, and that's how it talks to the computer. You also have to be on the same Wi-Fi network. You can't have one device on your BYOD and another device on the GISD internal. They both have to be on GISD internal to work properly. Once your downloads have finished, you will get a download complete that tells you three items were successfully saved as simple transfer.zip and check your downloads folder. You can click OK to let the computer go back to its normal and then down here where it was downloading you're going to click that little up carrot and I always choose show in folder so that I can find it easily on my computer. When things get saved to a zip file, you have to unzip it before you'll be able to see anything that's in it. You're going to click on this pink extract button and you're going to say extract all. That is going to ask you, where do you want to save these extracted files? I always leave it right where it came. I don't change this at all, but if you like to save your things to a specific location, you can browse to that location as well. So I'm going to leave everything the way it set it, and I'm going to choose Extract. Now our window will open up with the three items that I downloaded from the iPad and now I can do with them as I need. One thing to note, if you chose to delete those photos after you downloaded them, the iPad will be prompting you for um, approval on allowing or not allowing you to delete those photos. So make sure that you choose delete on your iPad if you'd like those photos to be deleted. One more side note, if you choose just to download one item, you will not get the prompt that makes it a zip file. So it'll just download straight as that PNG file and you can still show in Finder to, to be able to find it quickly, but notice there is no zip extraction needed you can just open up that photo or move that photo to wherever you need to and use it like you normally would. I hope you found this tutorial helpful on Simple Transfer. If you have any questions, please reach out to your digital learning team and we're more than happy to help you. Have a great day.